Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to take a quick look at the class clash event. And if you notice, I said it very slow just so I don't get tongue twisted, but the CC event it's currently going on. And arena wise, I took a quick look and I was like, I don't really like it too much. The arena. So we'll start there first. Of course, this, uh, the warrior class clash is going on right now. And here are the milestones and the rank rewards. The rank rewards are pretty neat. Uh, for the top 30 <laughs> for the top 30 people they get some really good stuff um, I don't really care too much about like the four star crystals. I think the main thing are those five star chips, but You know those are I can't even click out of this now. Oh, there we go um, Those chips are spread out between basically all the way up to the top 5% don't know I guess we'll find out tomorrow on average like uh, how many points you'll need to rank like top one to two percent since most people i'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna rank 500 chips uh 500 shards actually it's not that bad um but still i don't think the arena is worth the time too much uh, unless you're gonna rank like pretty high uh milestone wise they decided to go ahead and add an extra one at two million man and i did a couple fights already and i think i ended up basically around 500,000 points uh, with my current warriors and brawlers so we'll see how tomorrow goes but yeah I don't I don't see myself grinding too many of these milestones especially the arena the arena to me doesn't really seem too much too worth it if you don't have enough time I would just skip the arena uh, the thing that is interesting though are the raids and let's go to the raid store really quick so this is what they have today and of course it'll change tomorrow so you can buy premium brawler crystals for 120 energon i would honestly stay away from these for it's just two to four star characters and basically premiums with just class specific but whoever designed the crystal i think they've already had this crystal though in the past but it looks awesome um these class crystals are really neat whoever made a mecha bam you deserve a parries just kidding um but anyways, on to the other stuff, which has the CC chips. And I would say everyone try going for that tier 4 essence. And today is Brawler, and it's 300. Um, the cost, 300 chips, and you can buy it 5 times. And I would definitely say go for that. Uh, some people, um, if you don't have any interest currently in tier 4, I would say go for the tier 3. Uh, a thousand is definitely a little bit pricey. It's going to require you, require, require you to do a whole bunch of raids. Uh, but I would still probably do as much as possible. The ore looks really nice, especially this uh, this big chunk of ore. But I'll probably end up skipping that, the ore. I don't really care about that. Um, but yeah, overall, I would say definitely grind for those tier 4 brawler essence. I looked at, the, at this once and I was like, oh, you know, it's not too bad. You only... I thought it... The purchase limit was two. I have no idea what I was looking at. I think I was looking at the tier three brawler spark, but I was like, oh wait, it's actually five. Uh, so what is that? 1500 uh, chips that you'll need. And I'm currently getting about 80. I think it does depend on your metal count. So I'm currently getting 80 chips per raid win and I am nowhere near 1500. So I don't, I'm definitely gonna have to grind quite a bit. Um, I do want to get the tier 4 essence. Uh, it kind of sucks that we're only going to be able to complete one fourth of one, but it's a start. I don't know if Kabam will have these uh, CC events, you know, continuing like every month or so. I don't think every month. Well, actually, if they did have it every month, basically every four months, we'd be able to complete a tier 4 uh, spark. But I think that would be. I don't know. I don't think that I don't think they'd do it though. <laughs> I really don't think they'd do it. I think uh, that'd be way too generous of them. Uh, but look at this. We got a quintessen base, and we are actually getting 26 medals. And this is the first quintessen base that I've encountered. And we are getting 80, 81 class clash chips, and I'm sitting at 2,300 uh, medals. Uh, I do think it's related to medals though, the amount of chips that you get. But if anyone can confirm, I haven't actually checked. Uh, or read anything yet um, but let me know depending on your metal count how many chips you're getting um, let's go ahead and do a quick raid or two actually we'll do we'll just do all three raids 
Uh, so if you guys want to stick around, we're just going to be doing some raids and then I'll probably end up buying some of that tier four essence and then I'm gonna have to wake up or stay up for a little bit and make sure that I raid and just get all of that tier four essence uh, in the bag. But yeah, I'm gonna have to be on top of my game though, as far as like grinding for that, that essence. Um, so currently I'm getting 80, so it would be what, like four raids? and get uh, 320 so four times five would be 20 raids am I doing math correctly I don't even know uh, I think I am though so I think I'd have to do 20 raids a day just to be able to get the uh, that tier 4 essence but <clears throat> so happy though that alliance missions is over guys gonna be uh, definitely using Megatronus on a lot of these just to clear all of these uh, raids super super quickly and honestly I don't think I'm going to mind getting a lot of these quintessent bases as long as they're giving medals which is super important so you can uh, you know raise your chip reward if you uh, go past the certain bracket if those are still in effect I think they are though like I said someone uh, someone assure me or let me know how many you're getting depending on your metal count um but yeah definitely a good thing that they finally finally fixed these quintessent bases man for the longest time we were only getting uh like i think one medal or like zero medals i don't remember um for beating these quintessent bases and it was it was really bad especially when i was um raiding a lot for megatronus which didn't really matter i think i was i don't know if i was the first one to breach 3,000 medals. I don't really remember. But yeah, those were uh, those were some good days. Some good raiding days for sure. You know, getting a whole bunch of quintessent bases. But at that point, it honestly didn't matter. I had like 5 million, almost 10 million raid chips. And I was just, you know, accumulating everything and not doing anything with it. And here's another quintessent base. Metal count went down a little bit slightly. We're at 18 medals now, but these are uh, really easy really fast and uh, I do suggest if you don't have enough time or if you you know don't have enough time to like check in throughout the day I would say definitely use some energon tier 4 essence guys it's it's very rare it's super super rare uh, so I do suggest you grind out for it and uh, if they do have more of these events or crystals that they'll offer for essence for the tier 4 uh, you know, you have a pretty good head start at uh, completing a spark for the future. Definitely going to do, um, not the brawler one, the warrior one I really, really want to do. Just in case I never ever get a warrior one for my drift. Gotta make sure uh, drift eventually hits uh, hits rank 5. Had a bad time at, in alliance missions today. Especially on my iPad Pro, and this happens a lot just on my ipad pro guys where i'll be i'll start the fight and it just it's like super super sluggish this is an ipad pro you know it's one of the first gen ipad pros but still it's like i don't think it should be having like uh i don't know i don't think it should be like lagging this bad i don't think it should be acting super sluggish or just unresponsive at times where it just literally like freezes and, and that happened today against bumblebee i immediately started getting smacked around i had to like quickly force close the game and there's a 50 percent penalty loss with the hp so right off the bat first fight of the day i'm at 50 percent hp with drift and then later he ended up dying against uh, i think it was rc because i um i think i sidestepped she had a special too and i sidestepped instead of backstepping so that one was my bad but I've been playing more alliance missions on my phone instead of my iPad. On my iPad, I mainly just do like the auto battling through the missions and doing raids and arenas. I do that on my iPad, uh, but on my phone, definitely, definitely for sure. I have to make sure that I use uh, my iPhone. And here we have still 93 from Kaon, 35 medals and 47,000 chips, nice. Uh, so we'll raid him really quick and go ahead and continue. I saw a post as well on the forums of people saying that they really want Megatronus in the store. <laughs> um, 
And I do hope they reintroduce him uh, back into the store, that way people can pick him up. He's an extremely good pick still. That nerf didn't do anything to him, and he's just an amazing character. To this day, I still do not know why Kabam decided to make him playable. I think having him like as a boss like would have been amazing. Just keeping him like in the sidelines, not making him playable for a while. Uh, but no, they kind of uh, jumped the gun on that, but of course. That saved me a whole bunch of energon, especially in alliance missions. I basically don't die with Megatronus. I die every now and then. Uh, but he's just an extremely safe, very strong pick. And I can see why a lot of people that didn't get the chance to get him back in October, I believe. October or November, I think that was the Megatronus month. Um, definitely want him now. So hopefully Kambam reintroduces him. I want to fight those uh, Robotronuses on, on bases, that's always that's always a lot of fun guys. <laughs> I still see a lot of 4 stars, uh, but yeah man, those 5 stars that are super ranked up on the uh, Robot Resource, they're really no joke, and that is honestly my Megatronus whenever I'm that uh, that guy that uh, puts it on uh, my Megatronus on Robot Resource, he gets a whole bunch of wins, and it's mainly him. It's him and that mod combination, man. That's the that's the ultimate win combo. <clears throat> but there are counters to it, so it's not too bad. All right, this guy has a four-star Megatronus. Pretty sure. Okay, there we go. Nice, quick and easy. I love when you can uh, get through that relic of what is it? Preserve? Not preservation. Obedience? Nope, it's not preserve. I forgot it. I have to check now before it bothers me. Relic of... Immortality. God, I'm stupid. I totally blinked out on the name. <laughs> I was like, what is it? I forgot. Alright, so he's got a Bumblebee as well. Five-star Bumblebee, man. Lucky. Super jealous. But he dies really quickly, so... Easy, easy wins, and basically these raids guys for me, they last like under three minutes, so it's not that bad. Um, quick and easy raids, the way to go, so. Love, love Megatronus. <laughs> He's useful for everything, basically. Just completely wrecks everything, guys. Wait, this guy's another Bumblebee? Jesus, he has both Bumblebees. Wow. I'm literally speechless. Super lucky. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and buy this. I didn't buy this earlier. Insufficient funds. What? Why is it saying... Okay. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Kabammed, man. These, uh, these visual glitches where they don't go through or something. I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and buy two of these. And we are well on our way, guys. We are on our way to completing a tier 4 brawler spark but definitely like i said arenas they don't really seem that interesting to me these shards are whatever and i don't feel like checking in a lot and only using certain characters to you know do the arena uh, it's just too much i think um we are getting this warrior class i keep seeing this team and i haven't really paid attention to it as far as like what it if it gives like extra extra stuff let me fight it really quick just to see I already forgot. I mean, it was uh, auto battling a lot of the arena fights at work today. I, I didn't really get a chance to take a good look at what was going on. There's quick and easy, RC, and Hot Rod. Gonna take on Bludgeon. Accelerated, but. Feel super candy. All right, let's see if this can kill him. He doesn't get an armor buff. Ah, there it is. But nope, we still, we still beat him. Those crits, crits too strong. And finally, our primal versus hound. <laughs> Alrighty. And, oh wow, I did not even notice this. T 
tier war or tier two warrior or that's actually not bad um you can even sell it <laughs> you can even sell it as well to get uh, some extra gold uh but okay it didn't give me any shards but it did give me uh some ore some warrior ore so it's not too bad i'm gonna have to test it again later i guess going up against a team that isn't like that warrior class because i think it keeps coming up let me just check yeah it keeps coming up so i'll check it later guys going up against like an optimus team see if we still get the those ore rewards but uh definitely for sure guys focus on raiding getting whatever you need or if you don't have enough time to raid you know stock up on those chips and wait for the day where there is a class like sparks or essence that you really need whether it's scout tech demo whatever and then you can uh you can buy it whatever you need but let me know your thoughts guys on this event thank you so much for watching we will not be streaming tomorrow uh, but we will be streaming next week on Saturday once the new update and all that stuff happens. Uh, so I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Good Friday. And actually, yeah, actually tomorrow is Friday, so I won't be streaming Saturday. Sorry. <laughs> all right, guys. Catch you guys later.